What's going on guys? So as you know, I managed to find a trunk swap for my WRX. Um, I swapped with somebody with a big STI wing. So now I've got the big STI wing on the back of my car. And if you saw my recent video, I actually removed the STI badge off the back uh, for obvious reasons. And I was on the lookout for a new WRX badge so that I could put it in place of where the old STI badge was. Now when I called the Subaru dealer to uh, inquire on the pricing of the WRX OEM badge, they wanted, I think it was like 80, 80 or $85 for the OEM badge, which is just a really expensive price for a little three letter piece of plastic. So anyways, I had been looking for a couple weeks and a few people had offered to give me their badges, but then when they looked, they actually found out that their badges, they kind of didn't have them anymore. They um, debadged their trunks and then perhaps threw the badges away or the badges broke. So I was kind of out of luck because the only option that I seemed to have was pay $85 for the OEM Chrome badge and then paint it black. So then one day a friend of mine, he actually saw my YouTube video, messaged me and he was like, hey man, I can get you a discount price on the badge through where he works. And I was like, yeah man, that would be perfect. I'd really appreciate that. So he did that for me and I got a new Chrome WRX badge uh, directly from Subaru. This is the OEM WRX badge that costs $85 and I'm gonna paint it black. To paint it black first though, we need to prepare it. So what I'm gonna be doing is sanding it down so that the paint will actually adhere to it. Um, I did already attempt it once without doing any sanding. Uh, don't ask me why I did that, I just thought it might work. It didn't work, the paint actually flaked like right off without even, uh, you could just blow on it and it would flake off. So I'm gonna start off with some prep work and start sanding this. I also should note I have the piece that it comes with to line this up on the back of your trunk. Um, which will come in very handy. And the way I'm doing this is I'm gonna be removing all the adhesive off the back. You can see I've already started there, but I'm gonna be removing the adhesive and then applying my own double-sided 3M to put it back on. All right, so I've removed all the adhesive off the back now. Um, looks good. Now it's time to actually sand down the front to prepare it for the paint. All right guys, so now that I've got the, um, the back side and the adhesive all removed, I'm just gonna use some normal sandpaper, I guess. I don't know what the type is, but um, just start sanding the top to kind of make it rough so that the paint will adhere to it better. All right guys, I've just finished sanding the uh, the badge up. So it looks pretty good right now, I'd say. It's lost all of its shine. It looks like it's good for paint at this point, I would say. Um, I've also just kind of sanded the back a little bit. And I, I think I'll be able to get the 3M adhesive on there pretty well and just kind of cut it up into little strips. And then um, should mount right in the back of the trunk and look really good. So I'm gonna begin painting with this. I honestly don't know much at all about paint or spray painting, so um, I picked this up at the local hardware store. Hopefully it works pretty good. It's supposed to be a matte black, like the lid, so should look good, I hope. Okay right, guys, so what I've done is I've just taped some newspaper onto a piece of wood because I'm gonna take the entire board outside and then do the painting out there just because it's probably not a good idea to paint in the garage. Although there's not much wind movement, there's still just any potential for, I guess, um, the paint to, to spray off and, and potentially float across the garage and land on the car, which I don't want. There's like a million birds out here, but whatever. All right, so I've brought it back in the garage now that I've done the first light coat. And this is just a very light first coat. Hopefully it settles nicely and doesn't become splotchy or anything. I think the fact that I took the time and patience to um, to actually really sand it down nicely is going to uh, really help with the results on this and, and help the paint go on really nice and smooth and come out like, and looking good. All right guys, so coat number one has dried. I'm going to go out and do coat number two now. Right, so here we go for coat number two. Nice and light. I'm trying to remember my friend Last Human's Garage's uh, techniques, so just going across nice and even like this. That's good for that part. Go on this side. I think 
that's good for the second coat. We'll let this dry for a bit. Still painting the WRX badge. I just did another coat this morning. Um, it's coming along actually really nicely. I'm being very patient with it and taking my time doing very, very nice and light, even coats. And it seems to be coming out quite well. So I think only a couple more, maybe one or two more, and then it should, um, should look good. There's like a million birds out here again today, so. What's going on guys? It's been two days now since I've been working on this. So I started this two days ago uh, and I was just doing some really nice light layers on the WRX emblem. And I think it's finished. It's not perfect, but it looks okay. Like there's one spot there that's like the paints come up off of it. Right now what I'm gonna do is just prepare the area where I'm gonna be placing the badge on by cleaning it, using some alcohol on it to uh, pull anything off and just giving it a really good cleaning before applying it on there. And down here is my main detailing bag, so maybe one day I'll take you guys through all the stuff that's in this. But uh, this is just my bag and it's not even that big of a collection compared to um, a lot of other people I know, so. guys, so what I've done is just placed some 3M double-sided adhesive on the back of the badge here and I just cut it up into little strips and put it across the entire badge. So hopefully this works. I honestly don't know how well it will work or if it'll stay on. Uh, I just really hope it does, so <laughs> fingers crossed. I've uh, put quite a bit on here and I'll basically just peel it all off, line it up and then stick the badge on just like that. It should look pretty good. It actually matches like identical to the, uh, the black Subi Speed badge I have. All right guys, so I've just peeled off all of the 3M backing and I've got the, um, the badge just laid in here. Kind of see it and just kind of supporting it because it's not held in by anything, just by the tension of the foam piece here. And all you have to do is line this up with the trunk Place it down. There we go. Looks awesome. That was pretty easy getting it lined up. I'll keep the foam piece just in case I have to redo it or something. So the WRX badge is on. It looks pretty level to me. You definitely need to use that foam piece that looks awesome. It's at the perfect height, I'd say it just it lines up perfectly with that and honestly the paint looks great. The matte paint I picked for like seven dollars or whatever, it uh, works really good. So that's it guys, that's how easy it is. The whole process took me like two days. Uh, today's the third day. I started on Friday evening, Saturday, Sunday and then tonight's Monday. So I spent three days just doing really, really, really light coats on the emblem, giving about four or five hours between each coat. So I only got in about two or three coats a day, did a total of six coats, and then I let it sit all day today, and I've put it on with the double-sided 3M adhesive. It looks pretty good. It's uh, perfectly even with the Series B badge there, and uh, it's a nice matte black color. The color is, is an identical match, I'd say. So thank you guys for watching this video. Maybe there's someone out there that's looking at getting WRX badges in black. You don't wanna pay the uh, really expensive price from Subi Speed for the already black ones. Uh, these ones came with my trunk, so I didn't actually have to buy them. Uh, this is an option. DIY, do it yourself. Get some black spray paint, pull off your chrome badge, sand it down put some light coats on it, and there you go. If you guys like this video, and if it maybe helped you, if you uh, were thinking of doing this, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. As always, if you have any questions or wanna know anything about my WRX, feel free to drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it. And as always guys, if you wanna see more videos about my WRX and you're new to this channel, I'd appreciate it if you press that subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner. And thanks for watching.